In the next five minutes or less, I'm gonna teach you the number one Jedi mind trick for developing the MVP mindset. Welcome back to Goalie Training Pro TV. I'm Maria Mountain. I am an exercise physiologist. I specialize in off-ice training for hockey goalies, but I've also trained a variety of athletes and I've been lucky enough to train four Olympic gold medalists, numerous world champions, professional athletes from uh, Major League Baseball, the NFL, the NHL. So I've really had a front row seat to what it takes to become a champion, what it takes to become the best of the best. And what I'm gonna share with you today is the one piece of the puzzle that had to fall in place before they reached greatness. And here it is. You, are the number one ingredient to your success. Not your mom, not your dad, not your coach, not anybody but you. And that's because only you can decide how you're going to respond. We all find ourselves in circumstances that are unfair, unjust, whatever, but we are the ones with the power to decide how we're going to respond. Your team sucks on defense. You see 50 shots a game, 60 shots a game. <laughs> You decide how you're gonna interpret that. that. That's just data. And so you can decide that that's either a really good thing because you know what, as goalies, how we get better is by seeing shots. And seeing shots in a game situation develops us better than just seeing shots in practice. Or we can choose to decide, wow, I'm so hard done by, I'm such a victim, my team hangs me out to dry, this is a really bad thing. I think if you follow this channel, some of you have already flipped that switch. So let me know if you've already flipped that switch. If you're like, yes, I know exactly what you mean. And my career changed when I decided to stop being a victim and to take ownership. Drop a comment below because one of the best ways that other goalies learn is from your experience. So share your experience, share how it transformed your career or your enjoyment or just what did you find when you flipped that switch and decided to be the most important ingredient to your own success? There are a million examples of how this can help you when you decide to be the most important ingredient to your success, when you take ownership of your success, when you are confronted with uh, an obstacle, you, you're just thinking, okay, what's my next best option? It's not gonna be ideal, very few goalies have an ideal career. So, you know, if you don't feel like doing your training, it's your decision whether A, you're gonna do it at all, and B, whether you're gonna give it your full attention, your full focus, rather than just going through the motions to check the box. A lot of you play somewhere where it's really hard to get seen. So you decide if you're gonna just, you know, wait and wallow and hope someone sees you, or maybe you're gonna make some videos and you're gonna send those out to goalie coaches or organizations, anyone who will watch something that will get you noticed and get you helped. Maybe you're constantly getting injured. Oh, I tweaked my groin again, I tweaked my groin again. Well, what are you doing for training? What are you doing to try to reduce that risk? Have you been to see a physical therapist? What did they say? Are you doing the exercises that they gave you? If those aren't working, are you trying to go back to the physiotherapist or find somebody else who might be better equipped to help you? Maybe you're feeling tired on the ice, having a hard time focusing. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you staying hydrated? What are you, are you eating proper food, fueling yourself? Are you taking control of what you can control? Do you need to move better on the ice? Well. What are you doing to improve your goalie specific mobility or your goalie specific agility? Uh, if it's mobility is your problem, if your hips just don't move the way you need them to move, then one thing you can do, I've got a free program just for goalies. It's called the Butterfly Challenge. I'll put a link in the description or you can head over to your app store and just type in Butterfly Challenge. But again, that's something you can control and you can improve and it's free and you can just start right now. So what I'm saying is champions aren't perfect and they all have struggles that they have to overcome. But what has helped make them champions is when they've taken control of their thoughts, when they've taken a solutions-based focus 
and chosen to leave behind the victim mentality. It doesn't mean you have to like it. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but it does mean that you're constantly looking for what's my next best option. And if you just aren't sure what your next best option is, you can drop a comment below. I'll do my best to help give you some ideas, but make sure you come looking for a solution. What I always have athletes do is, hey, bring me Here's your problem, bring me three solutions and then we'll discuss and we'll try to find the best option. Don't come to me as a victim and like, oh, this happened to me and that, happened. you know, we're gonna work together, we're gonna focus on the solution and what we're gonna do next. So I hope that helps. It really is the number one Jedi mind trick to developing your MVP mindset. That was a quick one, I will catch you next time. And I forgot to ask you to like this video, hit the thumbs up. Thank <laughs> you.